You're listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast, episode 30. Today is an Ask Lindsay episode, and we have a question from Alexandra, and she asks, how do I make engaging videos on short topics so the audience does not get bored? This is a great question, Alexandra, and I can't wait to answer it for you. You're listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast, where we believe business can be simple and you can use your intuition to run towards your goal. Self-made business and success coach, Lindsay Maloney, helps you start and scale your dream coaching business. With her step-by-step intuitive and creative guidance, you'll leave ready to put her tips into action, push your business forward, and work with your dream clients. Lindsay is here to help you get unstuck and structure your brilliance into a coaching business that's sustainable and financially exhilarating. Here's your host, Lindsay Maloney. Before we get started with this episode, I want to talk to you about my program, Standout Coaching Academy, or SOCA as everyone calls it. It's a 90-day program that's going to help you book your dream clients, and this is perfect for you if you are a coach who is ready to create, launch, or scale your coaching business, if you want to fill your calendar up with dream clients who inspire you, and you want to make an impact in the world with work that you feel called to do, I want you to enroll in SOCA. SOCA is an extremely powerful program that will take your coaching business to the next level, and I have three ways that you can join me right now, be a part of the 90 90 day program, join other like-minded women, network with them, learn the best ways that you can build your coaching business just the way that I have created and scaled mine. So you can stop having those sleepless nights with all the information overload and stop doing everything by yourself. So many coaches are struggling to get their businesses started and I want that to stop right now. So I'm inviting you to go to standoutcoachingacademy.com, check it out and enroll. Okay, so this question can apply to not only video, but I think I can answer it for people who are um, recording podcast episodes, writing blog posts, pin ideas for Pinterest, Instagram posts, stories. I think the principles of this would work for every for every platform that we're on um, because the attention span of people who are online is very short and it seems to be getting shorter and shorter. Everyone is just flicking through stories as fast as possible. They're barely scrolling through the feeds anymore, it feels like. Um, They're looking for short solutions and fast solutions on YouTube. So we have to stay um, with it. And so Alexandra is right when she says, how do I make engaging video on short topics? So the the best way to come up with um, a topic is to get into the mind of the person who is going to be watching the video. I have three different methods that I will go to when I'm feeling like I can't think of a topic idea for a podcast episode or just even um, a freebie idea or anything. The problem a lot of us make right away is by using our language. So for example, I have a freebie called the ultimate coaching biz toolkit. That is something I know my audience gravitates towards because I'm using their language. They just want a toolkit of all of the things that I use in my coaching business. But if I went with my language, I would say something completely different because you're always five to 10 steps ahead of your audience uh, most of the time. So you can't use the language that comes up in your mind. You have to go elsewhere and see what other people are searching for, what they're looking for and what they need. Um, So I have like three different places that I like to go to when I need to get into their minds. The first one is Pinterest. I will go there 90% of the time to get inspiration for a freebie idea or podcast episode or even just a topic I want to address in our Facebook group. So I will go there and I'll think of a topic. So let me just go there right now while while I'm on with you. So it's like a live audio demo. So go to Pinterest and then I will, let's say I wanted to make a new freebie for my coaches. And so I'll, I'll go in the search bar and we know that Pinterest is owned by Google. So their search algorithm is super helpful because it's going to pull everything what other Pinterest users are searching for. It just tells us right away, like here, use these titles. So what you do is you start typing. So I'm just going to start typing in business coach and I'm not going to hit enter. 
I'm just going to look at the five phrases that Pinterest gives me. And you can do this along with me so you know that this is what is this is what happens. Business coaching comes up, business coach, business coaching quotes, business coaching logo, business coach website. It tells me the five things when people start searching for business coach, what people are looking for. So then I'll go and I'll think, okay, well, I'll just click on business coach and see what happens. And then I'll go digging around for um, topic inspiration. Um, Let's say you are a copywriter and you want to make a resource for your audience. So we'll start typing in copywriter. I'm not even going to put, I'm going to put C-O-P-Y-W-R-I-T and then, and then I'm just going to see what comes up because we can have copywriting or copywriter. And those five topics are copywriting, copywriting for beginners, copywriting tips, copywriter, and copywriting portfolio. You're going to go through those and pick one like copywriting tips and then you'll be able to find some inspiration. So if you're trying to create a video for your business and you need something really quick, the quick part is up to you. Um, you can make this as quick as you want, but just first, I really want you to erase the part that you could potentially be boring because you're not going to be boring. If you have it in your mind that you're going to be boring, then you're going to be boring. So erase it. Your video, your topic is going to be super exciting. You're going to hold attention and you're going to tell them exactly what they need to know. So if you like for the first one that comes up here, I don't know what kind of business you have, but let's say we did the copywriting search. The first pin that comes up is the ultimate list of 19 copywriting formulas that drive conversions. So you could change this obviously to like um, five copywriting formulas that will drive conversions. Make it short and sweet, um, make it exciting and make it so it's very clear what their transformation is going to be. I think that's where a lot of us will fall short when we're naming things, when we're giving post titles and um, program titles, all of that stuff. We're falling short with telling people what the transformation is going to be. We're trying too hard. We're not simplifying it. And our words are getting muffled. It's foggy for people who have no clue what we're doing. We have to make things super clear and transformative. I can't emphasize that enough. When there is no transformation in a title, people can't see themselves in that title. Does that make sense? So if you say, here are five copywriting formulas that will drive conversions, you're telling people, if you do these five things, you will drive conversions or whatever title you use. So by, again, keeping it simple, showing a transformation, people are going to sit and listen to you, even adding numbers like five ways, how to's, you know, the, the, the typical um, titles. That's what, that's what gets people to stick around and listen because they know that something, if they utilize and listen to everything you're saying, they can have that transformation. That's super important. Another place I like to look for inspiration is YouTube. You can use that same technique because I believe Google owns YouTube as well, I think. Um, If you go over there and you just start slowly typing in words, you're going to find all those videos that are popping up. And those are what people are looking for. That's what people are naming their videos. I also think it's really important to um, take the time out of the equation You know, all my podcast episodes are completely different times, and that's because some topics take 10 minutes to talk about and some take 20, and I'm not going to put a restraint on how long it's going to take me to explain something to you. So if you are being very clear with how you're presenting your information, people will stick around. If you're all over the place because you're trying to give too much, then people are just going to get confused and then their minds are going to shut down and they're going to leave. So by taking away that time limit, we're not on a TV show, like we can do whatever we want as our business. If you if your topic's going to take two hours, then take two hours. If it's going to take three minutes, go ahead and take three. But just erase all of that time um, constraint from you. That's too much pressure. I think having a great title is a way we can get people to watch, to read our work, And then they're going to hang around because you used such a great title. They know something will be different if they do what you say, and they're willing to listen to that. 
And the third place I like to go to get inspiration for topic ideas, I got this from a client and I share it with everybody because it is so amazing. It's called answerthepublic.com. Um, just go there. You're going to find some really awesome stuff. Um, it's basically like Google, but it's very visual. So if you type in, let me go there again so I can show you. And the when you go there, the front the front page is a, is a guy standing there like patiently waiting for you to type in a keyword and it's kind of funny um so you're going to type in something like um anxiety so i'll type in anxiety and hit get questions so what it's doing is it's thinking and it's going to bring up all these different visual wheels of the keywords that people are searching for online and so you can use my example. This is a gigantic example for anxiety. Anxiety is in the middle and it branches out into all these questions of what people are searching for online right now. So like one of them for anxiety is, are anxiety disorders common? If I click on that, then it's going to pull that search in Google and then you can dig into this topic even more. But these are the exact words that people are using when they're searching for solutions. And your job is to use a title that shows them the transformation. Don't make it hard on yourself. Just keep it simple. Show them a transformation and they're going to listen to you no matter what. Um, take out the negativity of the being boring. Take out the time. Just use their words. Show them how they can take some steps forward. And then you're going to find that you're going to hold people's attention no matter how long you're on. I hope that answers your question. If anyone has a question they want me to answer on an Ask Lindsay episode, you can DM me on Instagram or message me on my website. I'd be happy to answer it and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Want 10 ways for you to start booking your dream clients? I created this workbook for you because I wanted to share my best tips on how I book mine. You're not going to believe how easy these are, and I know you'll be able to take my tips and put them into action ASAP so you can start working with your dream clients. To grab the workbook for free, all you have to do is go to lindsaymaloney.com slash podcast. Hey coaches, are you a member of the Book Your Dream Clients community yet? Because you should be. Just go to dreamclientcommunity.com to request free access. We do fun things like website audits, challenges, and we even have a book club. Join the free Dream Client community now and we'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast. If you want to find out more information how you can work with me, just head on over to my website, lindsaymaloney.com. You will be able to see how you can work with me privately or in a group setting. I'm all about helping you start and scale your coaching business, so I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to the show on iTunes and leave a rating and review. And if you want bonus points, take a screenshot of a review and tag me on your Instagram story. I'd love to see it and share it with my audience. And plus, you don't want to miss another episode.